So I was just at my um, friend's place. Um, we were working on our research project that we're doing. We're working on in your first year of your bachelor's, you do like an observational research. So we were just conducting that. Um, and now I'm back at my place and I'm just gonna eat something really quickly and then I'm heading to the young adults group at my church. Okay. favorite place like up here in St. Petersburg mm. I've been thinking about it and I know I try to be honest here you know like with these little video entries because I know it means a lot when I have people say that it feels like we're just friends chatting and I want it to be like that but I think there are still things that I'm not ready to talk about because um, I just want to I want to talk about these things that are currently going on when I'm at a place with them where I can understand it better and talk about it in a way that is healing and advice giving and understanding both for me and for the listener and not just me like saying these things that I don't when I don't understand what's happening. Anyways, that's not important. That's just kind of why I'm not going to be talking a lot about what's going on but I think it is important for me to at least be honest and say that which is what I'm working on being okay with people seeing that I'm not perfect because um, I really I struggle with people seeing the hard parts you know and it's really easy to do that on a video um, but it's a lot more difficult to do that face to face because you just don't know how the person's going to respond and that's where it can be difficult and I had a friend actually say like um, that she really admired how I can be very put together and do things on my own and it's funny because I think that's also something that currently in my life is really holding me back because um, you get to the point where you don't want people to see that you struggle at all. And a big part of healing is being able to be honest that we are messy people. I really want people to think that I'm always a good person, I'm always doing great, or at least I'm always trying. And I think that can be really difficult to live up to, you know, live up to the standards and the life that you have um, put yourself into. Anyways, um, I think it's a balance, you know? Um, I do think it's really good to be able to do things by yourself because you just get a better clarity of your own person and the relationship you have with yourself when you're, by your, when you're alone, obviously. Um, but I think it's also a balance because I think when you are alone, it's a lot easier to stuff things down because you don't maybe you don't know how to deal with it on your own and other friends can give you advice or um, care for you when you need it because we aren't always the best at taking care of ourselves when we're struggling um, which is what I'm learning you know 
um but i just want to share even if i don't maybe feel comfortable sharing what's going on sharing um how i'm trying because i think that is so important to see that even if um it's difficult and you have days where you can't make any progress or do anything um that you still have some sort of hope uh, to keep going eventually yeah so i'm gonna just sit here for a bit and try and think through some things um and then head home and work on some stuff but anyway <laughs> It's stressful.